Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Flick News. Isola here with Flick Direct, and if you're new, welcome. We've got a lot to discuss in a very short amount of time, so grab your popcorn, sit back, relax, and let's get this started. This week, Lady Gaga shared a trailer for the Joker sequel, and it did not disappoint. A lot of us have been very excited and waiting in anticipation for this to come out, especially after they had announced that Gaga would be in this movie, starring alongside Joaquin Phoenix. And based off of the behind the scenes that we've seen, this is going to be amazing. Now they are sharing this ahead of the October 2024 release, which is just around the corner. And it's giving us a little bit more of Gaga's character Lee, which is a completely different take on Harley Quinn. Production hinted at a musical twist and at the Venice Film Festival, it was revealed that Gaga and Joaquin Phoenix actually sang on set, which has to be so much fun. And honestly, I cannot wait to see this because I love music and I feel like that's just gonna give a little bit more to their character and how they work together. This trailer features Gaga singing the famous Frank Sinatra song, That's Life, and it is fabulous. But we didn't really expect anything less because Gaga just has such an amazing voice and her acting range is phenomenal. I never actually expected her to be an actress, but she has shown in the multiple movies that she has been in that she can really do anything. Joker Foliadu is, again, just around the corner and you can get your tickets now so you don't have to worry about not being able to see it when it opens. So be sure to grab your tickets and watch the trailer. I have uh, listed it in the description for you to watch. Next, it was announced that we are getting a Matchbox movie. You remember Matchbox, those little tiny cars that were super popular back in the day? Well, John Cena will be starring in this movie and here's what we know so far. Apple Original Films, along with Skydance and Mattel Films, have teamed up with Sam Hargrave to produce and direct this film. Fun fact, Matchbox was actually created in 1953 and Mattel acquired it in 1997. I actually thought that was earlier, but I might be thinking of Hot Wheels. Matchbox originated when automotive enthusiast Jack O'Dell actually created a tiny car for his daughter's school. This is the first time that Hollywood has tried to make a Matchbox movie, and I'm not quite sure how this is actually going to happen, seeing as how they've been trying to make Hot Wheels movies for I don't know how long and have really not been able to get anything off of the ground. But maybe with John Cena uh, starring in this, it'll get something moving. He has been starring in a lot of things, and it's, they've all gotten great reviews, so hopefully he will be able to get this off the ground and we will hear more about what this movie actually is about. So stay tuned when I hear more about it, I will definitely let you know. Next, Robert Pattinson has a new movie coming out and it's kind of giving that edge of tomorrow, live, die, repeat kind of vibe. We got a trailer for the new movie, Mickey 17, and it shows Robert Pattinson dying multiple times, which, Kind of seems funny and horrible all at the same time in this trailer. Pattinson stars as Mickey Barnes, who is a colonist and also known as an expendable. Now, expendables take on these jobs that are often too dangerous for the regular humans. And so the expendables are sent in and they have to do those jobs, often dying or being completely maimed during the process. Now, what's crazy about this is that they actually use human printing to pretty much revive the Expendables. So that's why we're now up to what, Mickey 17? And this is actually based on a book by Edward Ashton named Mickey 7. But as you can tell from that title, we've gone through a few Mickeys since that book was released. It is said that while this is a sci-fi film, it is fundamentally a human story. The trailer primarily shows us that this movie is going to show the story between Mickey 17 and Mickey 18. And we also find out that Mickey 18 is the evil one who is pretty much out of control. 
but we need chaos, right? That's what I always say. Chaos makes the movie crazy and great. Everybody has been waiting for this trailer and even the movie since they pushed the release date. It was originally supposed to come out in March of this year, but they pushed it to January 2025. After watching the trailer, I can say that it will probably be worth the wait because the trailer was really good and didn't give away too much, which I always appreciate because I like to be a little surprised when I do watch these movies. The cast also features Mark Ruffalo, Steven Yoon, uh, Naomi Aki, and Tony Colletti, which we've actually spoken about a couple times in recent movies coming out. Um, so you really know this is gonna be a potential hit. I've linked the trailer in the description so you guys can take a look. Let me know what you think. And with that, this concludes this week's episode of Flick News. Please be sure to like and subscribe to all of our channels so you never miss out on any entertainment news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.